Round two of the Rice Planners Amateur teed off today in Mount Pleasant. And remember, this is a 54 hole event, just three days. So that as this tournament progresses, it goes very, very quickly. We head to the Snee Farm Country Club. Clemson golfer, BE alum and friend of the show, Austin Scott, was the low local player yesterday. There he is teeing off. He was one under as he started his day today. This was around 12 noon. As you see, there was a brief downpour. Connor Brown from the University of Alabama teeing off. He began the day two under par, then he kind of sprints off the tee there. Gareth Stain fired a first round 68. He was two shots off the lead as he, as he started his round today. NC State's Michael Vick, one stroke off the lead when he teed off this afternoon. My man Dan Fanning, Dan Fanning rather behind the lens here. And your leader, Michael Langham, hoping to duplicate his first round 66 as he got things underway this afternoon. Now, here's your leaderboard. The final groups finished moments ago. George Langham tied for the top spot with Gareth Stain, both players at seven under par. Nick Rabino, one shot back at six under after a 68 today. Three players are at four under, three shots off the pace. And now let's go live to News 2's Dan Fanning. He is standing by at the Snee Farm Country Club. And uh, Dan, crowded at the top of the leaderboard, as you well know, some guys really made a move today, huh? Yes, they did. I think only 14 guys shot under par yesterday, but a lot of guys going low today, led by that nine under right there. But speaking of Gareth Stain, please be joined now by the Aussie right now. And Gareth, we talked to you yesterday. I don't know if we need to talk to you again tomorrow. Uh, what has been working for you so far this week? So what's been working for me is that, I mean, it's very windy here, obviously. So just hitting a lot of low balls off the tee and keeping it low into the greens as well. And that's it really, that's all you can do when it's windy like this. And I mean, I'm used to playing in the wind. I grew up in a windy city, so I'm, I'm enjoying it and it's working. So I'm just going to see what happens tomorrow. And going off that, a three under round today, how would you assess your round today? I'd say the three under today was honestly better than the four under yesterday, just because afternoon tea time, I had much more wind. But I started off hot. I got a few long putts down early in the round. And then as it got windier, I just held on and cashed in on a few birdies here and there. And yeah, just, just kept it solid, kept it low, kept it in play, and it paid off. So. If you don't mind coming a little bit so everybody can see you at home. Uh, I guess going into tomorrow, a share of the lead with George, your playing partner today. How are you feeling going into tomorrow? I feel good going to go tomorrow. I mean, all I can control is what I can control. George is a great player, a uh, University of Georgia player. So, yeah, just going to keep doing what I'm doing, control what I control, and whatever happens, happens. So. Awesome. I appreciate your time. Best luck tomorrow. He, Gareth is heading to VT uh, as a transfer, heading to the ACC. So, hopefully, uh, Gareth is heading to Blacksburg with a championship here at Steve Farm. Reporting live for the Rice Planners, Dan Fanning, News 2 Sports.